Okay, the test one review for Math 1033 continues. On this video, I'm actually going to look at two questions. We're going to look at question number five and question number six together, as they're both fairly short and they're pretty related to each other. So, they both involve something to do with lines. I'd like to start off with question number five, so let me bring you down here to my workstation, and you can see what this question involves. Let me get you a picture of it. Here we go. What we're asked to do in question number five is we're asked to draw a line which does not have a slope. Now, I want you to picture lines that do have slopes. Picture in your mind a horizontal line. That line has slope zero. Kind of think of it as it's a zero effort to walk along a straight flat line. All right? Zero is a slope, so a horizontal line has a slope. A positive slope would emulate sort of walking uphill, so from left to right the line would be rising. A negative slope line from left to right the line would be falling. Now here we're asked to draw a line that does not have a slope. The only kind of line left to draw would be a perfectly vertical line. A vertical line, any vertical line, does not have a slope. There's a way to show it mathematically, but one of the easiest ways to know it for now is if I asked you to just pretend that was a rope hanging down from the ceiling, if I asked you to just walk straight up that without holding on, there's no way you could do it. So try to associate that. No slope, no way to just walk up a vertical line. Got it? Okay. And don't get this mixed up. A horizontal line has a slope. It's equal to zero. A vertical line, however, does not have a slope. All right, so that's question number five. Now, let's look at question number six. Let me change paper here. Question number six asks you to give me an equation of a horizontal line and this line is going to pass through the ordered pair 8 comma negative 4. Now, even though we don't have to draw a picture here, I am going to draw something to help you see the answer to this problem. If I draw a line that is horizontal, of course you know that a horizontal line looks like this. You're walking, you know, you're walking along the horizon. You're looking out at the water and you see the horizon. It's, it's a flat line. Now I want you to notice something with this horizontal line. As I walk back and forth on this line, the x value would change like crazy. Okay? But as I walk on this horizontal line, the y value is stable. And what I mean by that is, no matter where I am on this line, it's always the same y value because I'm not going up and down I'm staying steady in regard to the y value. So for that reason, the equation of any horizontal line is only going to involve the letter y. y is equal to, anytime anybody asks you to give them the equation of a horizontal line, the answer will be y equals, and in order to know what value to let it equal, you need to know at least one point on the line. Well, we're told that this line passes through the ordered pair 8, comma, negative 4. 8 is an x value, so that is not important to us on a horizontal line. The value that's important to us, the one that's stable, is the y value, which in this case would be negative 4. So your equation for this horizontal line would be y is equal to negative 4. Any horizontal line is going to be y equals a number, and this number can be determined by by one of by one just knowing one ordered pair on the line and looking at the y value and totally ignoring the x value. Okay.